how exactly did I do a video on Gobekli Tepe and not mention the Skull Cult? So yeah, on top of all the other weirdness about Gobekli Tepe, which you can all find in the original video, um, there was apparently a Skull Cult of some type that was involved at Gobekli Tepe. This is all very speculative, um, and I've only read a little bit about it. I'm certainly not an expert, but basically there were fragments found of skulls, several different skulls that had shown evidence that they'd been tampered with in some way. Some of them had marks across them. Some of them looked like they'd been painted. And there were debates as to whether or not they were stuck up on spikes inside one of these, you know, cauldrons or whatever, or hanging from ropes from the ceiling up above. But either way, apparently in this one chamber, at some point, because Gobekli Tepe apparently had been uh, used, inhabited, whatever you want to call it, for a long time, thousands of years, but um, at some point in that whole time, yeah, they had some skulls on display for clearly some kind of religious ritual. They had been painted, they had been reshaped or worked to, you know, have designs on them. There were people there worshiping skulls. The debate was, were these former leaders of these tribes? Were they ancestors? Were they considered gods? We don't know. Were they worshiping these skulls? Were they around just sort of uh, be like a memento mori, a reminder that someday you're going to die, so worship our gods appropriately, uh, whatever that might be. It does make me think a little bit about the, um, the chapels in Italy, I actually visited one of these one time, where they take all the bones, it's an ossuary is what they call it, and they just make designs and shapes out of all the bones of the old monks from, you know, like a thousand years back that had been inhabiting this place and, and, and living there. Um, they took all their bones, they had to like clear out room in the, in the catacombs and whatnot, and they made designs out of them. It became a part of the architecture of the church. Literally just hundreds of skulls and they would take the ribs and like make, you know, chandeliers out of the ribs and the, the femurs and the forearms and stuff, just crazy stuff. They don't really know exactly what the purpose of the skulls were. Um, there's a lot of religions throughout the world, throughout history that have used skulls in different ways in religious purposes and whatnot. Um, so they've kind of got some theories that they can go off of because it's not something that's never been done before necessarily. But um, it's ironic, maybe not ironic, but it's interesting to think that the oldest city in the world that we know of may have been built by people who worshipped skulls. You know, the, the old cities like that um, and these stories of tribes and civilizations being more advanced than we thought they could be, it, they're always super interesting to me. I did a video a while back on the Silurian hypothesis, which is the idea that maybe there was an advanced human species that came before us. I think it's very much possible. This is about as woo-woo as I get, by the way. I think it's very much possible that in the 200,000 or so years that modern human physiology existed, that there could have been something approaching an advanced civilization. I mean, Gobekli Tepe is what, 12,000 years old, something like that, up to 15,000 years old, possibly. And there's, it, it, it has been buried and deteriorated so much that it, it was literally just underneath a hill where people were grazing their sheep for like thousands of years. Um, it's, it is very much possible, I think, that if there was a, a civilization 50,000 years ago of some kind, that it's all completely ground to dust at this point. And we may never know about it. We may never find it or any traces that we find of it are going to be so small that they could very easily be explained away as something else. You know, I, I'm always curious why it took so long for us to, I mean, if we have the same brain matter and the same ability to communicate and whatnot now that maybe we had back then, obviously not technologically with internet and whatnot, but that, you know, we had the ability to pass on information through language and stuff like that. Um, why not? Why, why couldn't there have been some kind of civilization of some kind? I'm endlessly fascinated. I keep bringing this up and I swear to God, someday I'm going to actually do something <laughs> on this subject, uh, some kind of series or something. But, you know, they found all kinds of uh, Native American tribes uh, that from, from way back before the Native American tribes that we know of today. I'm talking about like going back 5,000 years, that kind of thing, that there was a, a vast trade network across the North American continent. The, the site that I keep referring to is called Poverty Point. It's in Louisiana. It's like right, I don't think it's on the Mississippi, but it's on a river, maybe a tributary of the Mississippi or something. But, um, it, but it was a, a place where apparently people would gather from all over 
the country because there were there were um, stones and and utensils and tools and stuff that had been made from things that didn't come from there, things that came from far away. There was there was stuff from the Edwards Plateau here in Texas that um, was brought over there to the, to Power Bay Point. They think now that it might have been like a an annual ritual place that people would go for religious stuff or just be a giant trading post to come and trade stuff with other people from other places. Being right there near the Mississippi River kind of gave you access to like, I don't know, 70% of the North American continent. That Mississippi River system is just so vast and expansive. It's just a fascinating topic to me. And I really think that it's it's very possible that somewhere out there in our deep history, there could have been something far more advanced than we would imagine could possibly be. But I've been having people ask me to do a video on Gobekli Tepe for a really long time. Um, and it certainly fits the, the, the nature of this channel and the kind of stuff that I talk about. But um, it, it wasn't something I really got a chance to go into a deep dive on. Uh, so there's definitely a lot of stuff that got left out of it. But I just kind of wanted to tell the story of this this unique place and uh, and um, kind of open people's interests to it. You know, like I always say, my channel is the appetizer, not the entree. And I just I cover these topics just to get people interested enough to go and look further into it. And there's plenty of stuff out there on Gobekli Tepe uh, and all the other places. I was actually surprised as I was researching this that there are other locations in that same area that uh, were even older, maybe a thousand years older, which is also interesting because we always think of like the the fertile crescent between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers is the place where civilizations kind of came from. These are, these are in Turkey. I mean, the same general part of the world, but not that same specific spot. It's curious that like, I don't know, maybe, maybe geologically there was something going on there that made it more, um, more likely for, uh, travelers to get together and form cities and stuff. Anyway, interesting subject. If you haven't had a chance to check it out, go check it out. There's also plenty of other uh, videos out there. I'm sitting here playing with the, I've not put these up anywhere. <laughs> I have, I have some, I have some merch. This is a little uh, patch that's available in the Nebula store. And I've got some more stuff. I need to make a big announcement on it. But there you go. Teaser. Patch. Last Smarter. It's also like the shirt. You can buy the shirt too. Pretty much, pretty soon I'm just going to turn into a merchandising shill channel. It's it's going to get bad. Get ready for it. But anyway, go back with Tepe. Super interesting. Go check it out if you haven't seen the video and the other things. Um, and there you go. Peace out. Later.